Hi everyone. I had the great fortune of studying and working in the beautiful South Indian state called Karnataka. I also have been blessed to learn the language to some extent where I can converse in Kannada. Wherever I lived for a considerable period of time on account of my official postings, I have always made an attempt to learn the language of the land through its music, literature, movies and festivals and anything and everything possible. So Kannada language I find has got a rich literature, great uh, poetry, music, movies, theater. One of my favorites in Kannada music, in the history of Kannada music or in the varieties of genres of uh, Kannada music is Dasara Padagalu. Dasara Padagalu means the songs composed by Purandara Dasa and Kanaka Dasa. Purandara Dasa is also known as the father of Carnatic music. Actually, he brought a proper system and method to Carnatic music, which evolved over the years as a great uh, branch of music, field of music. He was basically a merchant and very smart in his business. But a spiritual miracle in his life transformed him completely. He underwent a spiritual metamorphosis and became one of the greatest devotional poets in India and in Karnataka. He has composed more than 4,75,000 songs. All these songs praise Lord Krishna in great devotion. One of the songs is Krishna Murti Nan Kanna Munde Ninti Tantite Kashtagalala Pariharisi. It means Krishna Murti in front of my eyes, Krishna in front of me, and all my worries disappear. One of the greatest writers from Kannada language, known as Masti Venkatesha Ayangar, who has been honored with Gyan Peet Award. In Kannada, he is called or he is usually referred to as Masti Kannada Asti. It means Masti is a great treasure for Kannada language and literature. He has written a story called Rangana Madhuve. Madhuve means marriage. So if you translate it, it is Renga's marriage. This story may appear to be talking something which many have shared with me. It is a bit uh, difficult to understand what is the deeper uh, message of this story. So I thought I would share my thoughts on this today with you. So the writer Masti Venkatesh Iyengar through the story tries to satirize the politics of mapping. 
he asks through the narrator why my village hosahali is missing in the map i don't want anybody to take my culture my language and my space for granted and then he tries to come out with another important message through the main character ranga even though ranga spent some time in bangalore got english education and came back to the village deep within nothing has changed he is thoroughly and completely an indian in his beliefs in his thinking in his rituals and in every aspect of his behavior he is a true indian the writer wants to say through this even though english has influenced india as a language it hasn't influenced or changed india as a culture and he wants to underline that it need not do that because we have a distinct and remarkable tradition language and culture so this is what masti venkatesh ayengar wants to convey through the story ranga's marriage so for that he uses lots of humorous situations in it one of uh, uh, which is the introduction of an astrologer in the story and how the story becomes the finest example of cultural resistance like we had seen in the lesson the portrait of a lady by kushwan singh how this is also this how this story is also an example of cultural resistance and when we study this lesson or if you are teaching this lesson remember to discover the beautiful land called karnataka its beautiful language the varieties of languages in the state its music literature movies and everything about its rituals and tradition only then the study of the story becomes complete